Hi guys, um, welcome to today's lesson on how to create a table using um, CLI and DynamoDB on Amazon Web Services. Um, to create a table, basically what we're going to do is use a JSON file to define that table and then use the DynamoDB CLI command prompts to then create the table using this JSON. Um, there's a bit of typing involved, so rather than watching me type out the entire um, key value pairs, I've actually done a blank template, which I'll make available on GitHub, and you can download and follow along, and then we'll fill in the values for each of the key value pairs. So it's kind of like table name, table def definitions, attribute name, key schema, attribute name, key type, and then our provision throughput capacity units. So without further ado, let's start. So we need to give our table a name. This has to be unique um, within your AWS account. So I'm gonna call my demo uh, underscore JC AWS um, uh, one. That, that should be unique. Um, attribute name. So this is the name that you wanna give um, the attributes uh, in your table. So in this case, I'll keep it simple and give it an ID column. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. And then you have to give the attribute, attribute type as always, whether that be hash, numeric in this case, which is an N, string, which is an S. Um, key schema, we are going to have ID because it's our only column that we have. So therefore it has to be ID. And this will be our hash key. Uh, we won't have a sort key. If you're not quite sure on what I'm doing, there are more videos on this channel about the basics and fundamentals of DynamoDB. So I advise that you go kind of check those ones out and then come back to this so you understand what I'm doing. Um, today's lesson is really just a how to create a table on on um, uh, AWS using uh, the CLI tools rather than going through all the details of what is a DynamoDB table and what each of these kind of things are uh, within that ecosystem. So I advise you to check that out. Capacity units, we'll keep it simple and cheap. We'll just go five and five. Um, and that is us. So the next thing we need to do, oh, I accidentally put that five on the wrong side of the colon. Uh, five and five. Uh, save that file. Uh, I'm gonna load up the uh, terminal now, load up command line if you're on Windows, and I'll see you on the next screen. Alrighty, so that's everything loaded up. I've kept AWS on the left-hand side at DynamoDB so we can see the tables. And on the right hand side, I have my terminal uh, ready ready to go. Um, so let's just get started. Uh, the command is quite simple as usual. It's AWS, because um, we're calling the AWS CLI. Same on Windows and Mac. Um, you need to have the CLI tools installed. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Again, there's videos on this channel on how to do that. But for now, uh, AWS uh, Dynamo uh, DB. Then we want to create a table, create hyphen table. Uh, and then the next command is really important. So we're doing this through CLI hyphen input hyphen um, JSON. And what that basically means is that we're using a JSON to um, create our AWS um, DynamoDB table. Uh, the next command you need to get then is actually the location of your file. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this in rather than watch me type the whole thing. So it's the URI, so it's file, colon, hyphen, hyphen, then the location of the file that we're going to um, create the DynamoDB table from. And then last one, last thing we need to add is actually the region tag. So it's region, uh, sorry, double, double dash, region, and then the region in which you want to create the table. So I'm EU West 1, and we hit enter. And it bounces back saying that our table was basically in the stage of creating. You can see that it's got all our attribute types um, in there. And if I refresh, hopefully we should see that table appear. There we go, right there. Um, so that's kind of everything for today's lesson. It's a really quick one on just how to create a table using JSON um, from the command line. Again, lots more videos on this channel uh, on DynamoDB and a range of other services. Um, all this information is available free on my website, johnnychevers.co.uk. So I advise you to check it out there. And thanks for watching.